Hello everyone and welcome to 1492 Mapper Media Toolkit Week 2 where this week we're going to be looking at influencer culture and in this presentation we will be exploring the three concepts that influence challenge within contemporary media. Each concept will be unpacked and linked to various theoretical underpinning, case studies and relevant examples of influencer culture that will help support your reflective commentary of your media toolkit portfolio. So in today's session, you will be able to, to identify areas in the current media industry that influencers challenge, to be able to highlight key concepts and apply relevant theoretical knowledge, also to demonstrate a good understanding of influencer culture in social media. And later, I'll be providing you with a brief introduction to task one that will be facilitated in Monday's practical session. So let's get into it. In this recorded session, we will be looking at the three concepts that social media influencers challenge today. Since 2012, the rise of social media influencers has grown tremendously, causing changes to the beauty, sports and lifestyle industries and accelerating with updates from technology, particularly on our mobile phones. Influencers have since grown to not always depending on a professional photographer to create their images or, or promotion of a product, but instead are paid directly from the brands themselves to create the content that they may have been able to do in just their bedrooms with a ring light and a mobile phone tripod. Therefore, this challenges the traditional methods of advertisement and which nicely leads onto our first concept. So in this first section of the recorded session, we will be exploring how social media influencers challenge mainstream advertisement. Get Ready With Me videos have become a trend on social media platforms, including TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Traditionally, in terms of makeup brands, for example, there would usually be carefully composed and lit product shots supporting the brand's logo and house style. More recently, however, Social media influencers have performed Get Ready With Me videos in order to present the product and often talking to camera in order to directly engage with their viewers. In terms of the beauty industry, influencers have been using TikTok as the prominent platform in order to publish their Get Ready With Me videos for maximum impact due to the social media platform's relative newness and popularity. Developments in the platform's functionality also indicate changes that make it a useful site on which to explore the beauty influencer culture. I would like you to consider what impact viral videos now have on mainstream advertising at a global scale, particularly physical large scale posters and billboards. Beauty influencers work is positioned within an optimistic and hopeful effective register that associates work on the body as pleasurable, empowering, and a pathway to self mastery and being recognized, according to Riley, by oneself and others as living a good life. However, the discourses of pleasure and autonomy are countered with the influencers need to rely on followers, likes and shares, which is not solely experienced on the beauty industry, but is also recognized by influencers who are chasing that celebrity status. Influencers like KSI and Logan Paul, who have recently launched a soft drink that went viral on social media. Prime soft drink that is basically a fizzy fruit juice was originally marketed as a sports drink. And with over 14 million YouTube followers between the influencers, they both claim that Prime aids to hydration, but has since caused fights since launched with Sainsbury's issuing a warning as Prime Drink sales. Prime Soft Drink did not start with mainstream advertising as it was posted by the influencers on their YouTube and TikTok accounts and has since had a negative effect. Deborah Meaden, famous from Dragon's Den, has quizzed influencers KSI and Logan Paul on why are they limiting the product, which is now being sold on eBay. For example, the drink is currently being sold for thousands and at one point retailed at £3,000. This current case study now poses the question of the methods influencers use to promote a brand or product, leading on to our next concept of authenticity. The second concept we will explore and unpack is how do influencers challenge notions of authenticity. First of all, and I'd like you to engage with the Padlet I've posted on Aula just underneath this video, is how authentic are we on social media? 
In order to provide a more authentic approach and therefore become more believable to their online audiences, social media influencers will tend to conform to notions of hyper-masculinity and traditional social norms. For example, Hostchild's research is relevant here in terms of women workers. Hostchild's explored the way female flight attendants and how they were trained to participate in forms of emotional representation to customers and passengers. The flight attendants were told, don't forget to smile. And therefore on this performance to their audience, that may not be quite as authentic as what they'd hoped to be. And now relating this research to the current industry, how do influencers portray that sense of camera performance? So a recent camera performance case study is in relation to influencer Stephen Bear, who was very recently jailed for 21 months in prison for his revenge porn on beauty influencer Georgia Harrison. After being highlighted as, a, as faking a millionaire's lifestyle, it's recently been confirmed that Bear hired multiple high-end cars, including a Rolls Royce, to try and boost his wealth as he arrived to the Crown Court for the hearing of released sex tape without permission of Harrison. Despite the severity of the situation that he was in, Bear still performed to the cameras and even managed to try to give out selfies to unwanting or unknowing young girls in front of the press. Here becomes the blurred lines of how authentic social media influencers truly are. Proven here by Stephen Bear continuing a disgraceful persona offline as well as showcasing it online. The third and final concept that we will explore is how do influencers challenge reality? Social media platforms have now made it readily available to apply a variety of filters onto your Instagram story, Instagram post, a Snapchat, a TikTok, or even a reel that will highlight a scene or smooth facial features and ultimately provide a more unrealistic version of yourself. Some, but not all, social media influencers have encouraged the use of filters and have used them on themselves and it deceives their audience. The youngest daughter of the well-known Kardashian-Jenner family, Kylie, with a net worth of $750 million, which has been mostly earned by Kylie Cosmetics, features one of the bestsellers, Kylie Lip Kit. The lip kit has become a sensation due to Kylie taking to her own Instagram and showcasing herself applying the kit to her own lips to her 380 million Instagram followers. Again, taking the influencer route from marketing her products and highlighting her brand. Products have become under scrutiny, however, due to the amount of cosmetic surgery that Kylie has undergone herself. Alongside her famous reality TV star sisters, she displays noticeably fuller and plumper lips. The angles and styles of her selfies have also changed the way that makeup has been viewed and therefore seems to be more appealing when it's seen to be applied online. And here we're going to look at Katrin Tiedenberg, who talks about the selfie generation and the idea of, again, performing to a camera to achieve the best self. The idea that we're projecting ourselves in the best way possible, rather than showing sadness or something bad, which can then lead on to the issue of social media impacting our mental health. The idea for performing to camera and the, the duck face and the gesture of selfies um, has now become an, a global act. And this will impact the culture in years to come. In Katrin's book, she references Branta in 2015, who studied what makes people perceive selfies as authentic or inauthentic, and they found four type amount with their participants. Taking this into consideration, we often see the type of snapshot selfie or carefully positioned coffee cup for that Monday morning motivation post on Instagram. But what we don't see is the change of environment, the number of selfies that are taken. It's not just um, people who enjoy selfies, but also our pets might enjoy a selfie as well. To summarise this recorded session, I'd just like to highlight the fact that with influencers, there is this blurring of the public and the private profiles. And this becomes an ethical and safety issue, but also an issue to consider for our own mental health when engaging with influencers on social media platforms. So the task that I'm about to launch that now that will be practically delivered in Monday's Media Toolkit module will be able to be added to your portfolio of audio visual media work that, as outlined in the mo module launch last week, is part of your assessment task. 
And now after today's recorded session, you'll be able to apply both theoretical and current case studies to support your reflective commentary on the portfolio. So leading up onto Monday's class, we will be using a DSLR 5D Mark II camera to create a of promotional product photography. And you will learn how to practically set up the lighting and product areas part of your media toolkit. In the second half for Monday's session, we will then challenge the traditional methods of advertising and we will go out and use only your camera on your mobile phone to promote the same object that we used in the studio. You will draw upon this idea of influencer culture that I've presented to you today and you may wish to create a short script before filming to consider key words that will be used and what type of hashtags to support your video or imagery in order to make it go viral. So at the end of the session on Monday, we will be able to highlight the strengths of each method that's created this imagery or video, and it will be based on your understanding from this presentation that has provided a better context for you to consider ahead of your practical skills session on Monday, the 13th of March at 11am. See you then.